Hi everybody, it's Susie and welcome to a Vintage Design Studio. Hope everybody's doing well this evening. Um, I wanted to come to you tonight with a video on one of my masks for the um, Mixed Media Vintage Arts group. We're having a challenge over there. I, of course, am not in the challenge. I'm the hostess of the challenge and have participated in this as well, just for the fun of it, and made one of my own masks. Um, and needing to share with you, um, this is just sharing my mask with you. There is an official video out for you to post your video on or just to let you know where to go uh, to post your photo uh, of your, uh, your mask. Um, but to me, uh, when I'm making something, um, I use my own original ideas. I think out things. I draw them. And I put a lot of work into this mask, a lot of planning. Uh, before I, I had actually made the mask, I made a couple of masks last year prior to this one, and I believe that I will be sharing with you the other masks that I will be making. But for now, um, I'd like to show you the mask that I made for 2011 Mardi Gras Venetian mask, handmade and handcrafted by me. And um, let me just introduce you. The color scheme here is purple, silver, black, and some turquoise. And I'm just going to uh, slowly introduce this to you. Um, what I have here um, is half of a mask that comes just above the nape of the nose. I have some lavender and purple sequins, excuse me, um, rhinestones, as well as the fur, fl f faux rhinestone strips here. Uh, everything is hot glued down along with lace and sequins and some beautiful ruffle trim here up on top with sequins all the way around. There is a dowel. I haven't finished it yet. I can share that with you, but I don't really know if there's going to be a dowel with this one because of the top of the mask. The top of the mask has seven inch chalapian feathers um, that are in the deep turquoise uh, and purple and black family just so really beautiful. I don't know if the video does it any justice at all, uh, but they're really very pretty. Um, I just, I love the way this came out. I'm going to hang this on my wall. In fact, I think I'm going to ask my husband to make me a shadow box to put this in to refrain it from getting dusty because once they get dusty, it's like, okay, the material's dusty, the feather's dusty, and I really don't want to throw it out. The face mask itself is like a hard satin um, over, I don't know if it's over plastic or what it is, um, but I just, I love the way it came out. It looks really very beautiful. I encourage everybody to be original with your masks. Um, don't feel badly that I'm asking for um, a mask made for the Mixed Media Vintage Arts group. Um, I believe that I was the first one that posted the um, the mask challenge to begin with. It doesn't really matter. A hundred of us can post it, but um, this is for, for my group, and I, I really don't want to share another group's mask, so I hope you guys don't mind. And don't worry about making another mask. These are so beautiful. I have one hanging in my craft room right now. They're so beautiful. An original piece of artwork that you make that's outstanding and wearable. Um, so don't worry about where you're going to put it. Just hang a nail in the wall, and there you go. I mean, this one, there's um, some rubber here. And you can see, like, on the flip side of the mask that I... Um, I put the feathers down with hot glue. Everything else is on the front. It's very neatly made. Um, I may put a piece of ribbon back here just on top of the feathers only so that it doesn't scratch me if I decide to wear it. Um, I have no idea what October holds, but usually there's some kind of Halloween something or other to go to, so um, I may, uh, you know, make up some kind of costume and, and wear this so nobody knows who I am. And then they open my mouth, they'll know me. <laughs> But anyway, it came out really pretty. Um, I had done the eyes, the shape of the mask, but kind of um, extended the shape of the eye, if you would, like, you know, when you put eyeliner on and sometimes you extend the corners. I wanted to do that here and just really accent the nape of the nose part, um, bringing it up kind of almost like the uh, princess type of uh, look for um, 
if, you know, like in the Egyptian days, they wore a lot of beads hanging over their forehead, and so that was kind of my feel on this one. Um, in combination with some of the lace, how Marie Antoinette had lace around hers, and um, this is not Marie Antoinette inspired, of course, because I don't really believe that she would wear a mask that looks like this, and then again, she might, um, without the feathers on top, of course. Please stay tuned. I do have another mask that's coming up. Um, I'm not going to tell you it's going to be a secret, but it's really going to be a beauty, and it's probably even going to be nicer than this one. So I really wanted to share this with you. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. There will be still photos on Facebook and on my blog. So please don't forget to participate. I haven't announced a prize yet, but there will be some kind of a prize uh, for the winner, which I'm really sure is going to be very hard to try and select one person. And hopefully there is more than just a small handful of people participating because if I only have like four or five people participating then it's going to be tough for me to pick somebody out of four or five and then on top of that give a prize it just may be in recognition uh, the group winner so we'll see how it goes the reason why I made it for October 24th was I thought I'd give people a lot of time uh, to create something to buy something to thought it, think it out um, to make something that's kind of close to Halloween so it would be kind of fun and, you know, look forward to, um, to having something to play around with. So, okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your comments. I hope you like my mask for 2011, Venetian Mardi Gras Mask Challenge for Susie Crafter 10 on Facebook and on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye.